Well, tonight we launch our special outreach feature with a focus on a charitable organization. Although standing as an auxiliary to the government and working hand in hand with social services, the Bahamas Red Cross operates as an autonomous body. Now, one thing remains consistent about the organization, though, is the assistance it provides to people in need on a year-round basis. In this special report, Carla Palmer highlights this organization as it works to meet the growing needs of residents. It emerged as a branch of the British Red Cross at the start of World War II in 1939, with members reportedly using the occasion to sew and make up care packages for those servicemen off to war. The Bahamas Red Cross has evolved since then. To date, its mission of tangible help and hope remains relatively unchanged. Our assistance is not based on any race or or creed or color, it's just based on the need of the individual. With an increasing population in a country presently challenged by unemployment, fiscal instability, crime, other social ills and frequent hurricanes, resulting in serious damage, destruction and displacement of people, demands remain great on the Red Cross. Director General of the organization, Mrs. Caroline Tonquist, says the Red Cross continues to serve as a beacon of light, providing clothing and primarily feeding the less fortunate. With an annual budget between $550,000 and $600,000, comprised of funds raised through charitable donations, Tonquist says this dollar amount continues to be insufficient to meet the growing demand for help. And that mainly supports our programs. The, the most expensive one is the Meals on Wheels program. And of course, we assist persons who walk in on a daily basis. People who, don't, who are in need don't quite understand. The Meals on Wheels program alone accounts for some $10,000 a month or $120,000 a year. This gesture allows residents, primarily the elderly, who are confined to their homes, to receive hot meals Mondays through Saturdays. Turnquest says the needs of people seeking assistance are especially great in times of a hurricane. The Red Cross could see as much as 200 persons a day during a storm. A lot of persons say, well, don't have the Red Cross, we don't know what they do. But if they need to come down here and see the persons that walk through these stores. While you may not today be seeking assistance from the Red Cross, it could be you one day. You just don't know. And for that reason alone, you're being asked to patronize the organization at every opportunity. Carla Palmer, ZNS Network News. 